Okay, Glam Rap Channel here with the WBO welterweight champion, Jeff Horn. Jeff, can you just tell the people where we are? Yeah, we're at the MGM Grand, five days out from uh, this big super fight that I'm having with Terence Crawford. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the MGM, you've seen the greats do it here. You know, now you, it's, it's, your, it's your second uh, defense of the belt. Uh, how does it feel as a headline over here at the MGM? Look, it's, it's pretty amazing and it's a dream come true that um, I get to fight here and it's, it's not just fighting here, it's fighting as a headline fight. Yeah. Um, see my face with my opponents all around the place on, on things up on the, on the roof and yeah. billboards everywhere. Um, Terence Crawford, you know, number one pound for pound. Uh, what do you know about him? Tell us, tell us a little bit about him. Look, Terence Crawford is a swift and crafty fighter and I give him all the kudos because he's, he's, he is ranked one pound for pound number one. He's arguably number one with Lomachenko um, in the mix as well. But look, he's doing wonders and he's got an amazing record with all, so many stoppages. But he's coming up against something different with me and um, I'm hoping to break that streak and I'm, I'm ready to do it. Do you envision this fight to be harder than the Manny Pacquiao fight? Look, possibly. Um, Manny Pacquiao was an absolute legend and he has that kind of um, experience that you just can't probably have with a guy like Terence Crawford, but Crawford's just got his youth, just like I do, where it's both age 30, which is, I, I think, the prime of boxing age, and um, he's definitely going to be an extremely tough fight, uh, possibly tougher than the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, you were the bigger, stronger fighter. Um... You're more polished at this weight division. You're the world champion at this division. Uh, does that give you the psycho psychological edge, knowing that you're the bigger fighter? Yeah, it does. I know he's coming up from weight division, but I've made this mistake once in the past where I fought a guy in the amateurs, but he was coming up in a weight, and I thought um, I was going to beat him easy, and he ended up knocking me down twice in that fight. So I'm going to learn from my mistakes in that one. And I know Terence Crawford's going to be big and strong um, come fight night, and um, I'm not going to let my old habits that he's going to be a smaller, weaker guy because uh, he's only about three kilos, four kilos in it. Um, so, you know, much has been made about the Jose gloves. So have you been training, you know, with the Jose gloves or have you been continuing using the, the foam padded um, gloves? I've been continually conditioning my hands to make sure that they can withstand some, some heavy blows. But um, we have trained a little bit with the horse hair gloves as well. Uh, rips my knuckles up a little bit um, on the back when I use them for a long period of time. But um, look, it might be the horsehair gloves now, or it might not be. We'll, we'll soon find out. Okay, but you still actually get the edge by using the gloves. But are you sort of opposed to using the, the, the gloves at all? Look, I I prefer not to, only because the wife, that's the wife and the yeah. families. Um, requests that I don't use these horsehair gloves because they're they're slightly more dangerous. But the same thing's going to happen if you get hit clean with the horsehair glove or clean with the normal foam padded glove. You're going to get knocked out. And um, also the top rank gym. I heard you were having trouble there. I mean, do you think that's sort of like a I don't know. I don't want to get into conspiracy, but do you think they were trying to rattle you by sort of giving you a gym that was not state of the art sort of? deflated you know yeah look it's it wasn't a bad gym like it's it's a we had a lot of room two massive rings there mm -hmm. um some bags there and stuff like that but it just was hot it's like a tin shed in, in the desert so it's going to be hot in there and um it was all closed up but then we opened it up it was it wasn't too bad but we've been training in winter over in, in australia and it's slightly colder and we're going to be fighting in an air-conditioned venue so we want to be fighting as close as we can what we're going to be fighting and um, an air-conditioned gym in the desert is a lot better and a lot closer. And, and now you're training at Kevin Barry's gym. Um, did you did you watch that fight between Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker? Yes I did. Yeah, what yeah. did you think? Look it was a good fight. Yeah. Um, it's really good that Joseph Parker managed to make the distance and he could have easily landed a shot and knocked Anthony Joshua out. Unfortunately he didn't because he's he's my um, I guess one of my stable mates here and um, I'm always rooting for him. Um, but yeah, um, he, he didn't do that, but he still good, gave a good fight and maybe again in the future they can have a rematch. You know, one of the points raised about that fight was the referee sort of interfered too much, like the Italian ref. Do you see that as a problem maybe for this fight with, with Robert Bird? Do you, do you see that when you get up close with Terence and maybe he, he, might, he might stop the action? Yeah, possibly. Like, 
that that did ruin that fight. If Joseph Parker was able to um, fight on the inside a lot more, it might have changed the fight. And he might have been able to win. And that's the same with this fight. If I'm able to possibly fight on the inside, or Terence Crawford's able to fight on the inside, it be, might be a completely different fight. And when you win this fight, are you going to continue to call that Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> Why not? He's, he's the money man of the, the boxing world, and he's definitely passed it. He's an older man now. Um, he's easy money these days. Yeah, he yeah. might not think so. He might think still rate himself, but he's over 40 years old, and he'd be easy money. Just my last question, Jeff. Jeff um, if you hear the words, and still, does that mean you're the greatest, one of the greatest fighters in the world at this stage? Well, if I beat the pound for pound, you kind of argue that yes, I should be. But um, I don't, I don't really. I'm not going to say yes or no. But um, I just want recognition from a good, good win. Fantastic. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for your time. Thank All you. the best. Cheers, man. Kagan.